All right, welcome back everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is Colmsden Farm, episode three. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I've got a lot of stuff done off camera. I'm gonna keep doing some stuff off camera, but I just wanna bring you guys into the episode here. Um, this is a course play route that is working, doing its thing. Course play had an update, so I updated it. Um, I think it's working better now. So um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit different, which I like. It's a better, I think it's better now. So anyhow, this guy's gonna keep doing his thing here. This is a fertilizing contract field 13, I also have 30. Um, I figured that would help us pay off some stuff. I have $150,000 in debt because I bought um, a very, very nice, um, but I figured if you buy it once, we don't have to buy it again. I bought a very expensive, very nice loading wagon uh, or forage wagon. Um, but yeah, our contracts, if we go in here, um, yeah, we're gonna get 70,000 from that. I actually think I'll probably take on another couple of contracts. I mean, that four grand, I mean, that's a decent one there too. I could have that guy working in the background. The sewing one I will probably take on actually as well. Um, yeah, I'll probably, let me go ahead and borrow the items. Well, I think we can just do it with our, well, that's gonna take a lot of uh, maintenance out of it. So we'll go ahead and borrow the items on that. That'll be worth it. So we'll borrow on that one um, and get that one done. But yeah, there's a lot of really good uh, contracts in here. So I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna start trying to knock out some contracts. because I'd like to get that loan paid off and get some money so we can buy some cows. Cause today we're getting some dadgum cows. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna keep working on that stuff off camera. You guys are about to see a time lapse of me plowing uh, field three here. Um, so I'm gonna get that plowed up and good to go. Um, I've been using this setup here to plow. It's been working fantastic. But first I'm trying to grab, of course, all the straw off of it. This thing here, this uh, hayloft can hold 250,000 liters. We have way more than that out there. Uh, you can see I've only gotten two rows around <clears throat> and I've already gotten 100,000 liters. So I'll grab enough to fill this thing all the way up and then we'll call it good. Um, if we go back over here, our bales, are all stacked up nice and neat here, except for when I slammed into them here. Don't tell anyone, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna fix this one real quick. Don't say anything. We're just gonna put this one bale back up where it belongs. All right, after that, I don't really care. All right, so we'll turn that back off. Okay, and there should be more painting textures now with the updated map. So if you go to landscaping, yeah, we got some more textures in here. Uh, gravel is kind of what I wanted here, but what does that gravel look like? Doesn't look half bad. What else we got? Gravel with dirt. I kind of like that one. Gravel with moss. I actually really like that one. A new gravel. Now it's my new favorite. Riverbed. Okay, so we got some new painting textures in here. Um, I think I like this kind of cement for along here, um, but I think I do like that new gravel look. Yeah, I think I really like that. So I think we're gonna paint this down along here up to the roadway. Just kind of up against the bales here. We could probably go up, let's change the shape, there we go. We'll kind of just paint some of this in here. Put some new gravel down. Yeah, I like the look of that. And then that, uh, where's that gravel dirt texture? This one will run out to, I think there should be a path through here. This kind of seems like there should be one. So I think we'll run this one, something like that. Um, I actually don't even like that necessarily. I kind of like this more. Now this looks more path-like, I think. So we'll just see how much money we can waste while I decide what we're gonna paint the path. Uh, so we'll get that along there and then I'll throw some dirt in there in a second here. Yeah, I like that. Just so there's a path, cause it felt kind of weird just driving over the grass when there should really kind of, looks like there should be a path. Uh, maybe some of this in there. Some dirt in there, kind of like that. I'm gonna just scatter some dirt in there. Make it look like it's, you know, kind of an old path or whatever the case may be. Okay, yeah, so I kind of dig that. I like the new gravel over here. We don't, I'm not gonna extend this out unless we actually need it. We have a lot of storage space in here. Um, and as you can see, hay bales actually came out being the lowest amount. We actually got exactly one load. Um, the other thing we're gonna do, I don't like this field, field four here, it's a grass field. Uh, mostly because you have to come in here, come into here, come into here, then come into here. So there's not a good access point. So we're actually gonna sell that. Um, and I wanna buy a different grass field. 33's, I considered it, and then we bought 10. So I think 10 though, to be honest, is gonna be plenty. Did I buy 10 with you guys in? I think I did. But I think 10, to be honest, is gonna be enough grass between eight and 10, we own both of these now. Did I buy that with you guys in here? I don't remember if I did last episode. It's been just too long since I last recorded. Uh, but oh, that's all one. I was like, why is the 12 over there a little bit more? But um, seven's not a bad grass field either, but these two, well, this one we can bail as well, but we'll probably actually stop working on this one. We'll probably just do these two. Um, so this one we'll do hay and then silage on this one next time. But I think those two grass fields will be plenty, plenty good for us. 
Um, the problem is they require plowing. They need. They also require everything pretty much. Um, yeah, they also require. Well, they require fertilizer because they don't have any on there. Uh, and obviously, you can see this field's been plowed. I sold field two because we didn't need it. Uh, but since we just got a little bit of money, let's go ahead and pay back um, a chunk of this loan since we're not going to use that um, piece of land anymore. Yeah, we'll keep. Uh, we'll, we'll borrow a little bit more because it's good to have a little bit of operating funds in the bank. Um, okay, so I also bought a little bit of fertilizer because I for our tank because obviously we're using liquid fertilizer out here with this guy, which he's about out, so I'll have to get him refilled in a second. Which actually, is there like a good, does it be easier than, oh, let's go back, sorry, the story here. It would be easier than having to drive out there. That guy holds an extra 1,500, which wouldn't be bad. That guy holds, that guy holds 5,200. That one's got a wider work width though. Um, that one holds fertilizer, so that's an option. Um, is there any one of the animal trailers that holds? These are all gonna be water, water, water. Well, these hold liquid fertilizer as well. I did not know that, though that one is very expensive compared to the other ones. Um, yep, that's the one we just looked at. That's just milk though, that's water. That does everything, 8,000 liters. Old water trailer there. Um, yeah, so it looks like that's probably our best bet is the one that's under that fertilizer. So I think we'll buy that. Um, the reason being, it'll just make life a little bit easier when reloading our fertilizer sprayer. I'm assuming it'll work for that, um, for using it for reloading. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll purchase this. Is that good? I mean, it doesn't really matter what color. It's an extra 1500 to paint it, huh? I kind of dig the silver. I don't really like that rim color though. Now rims need to be like jet black. Yeah, I like that. I like that look there. Capacity pallets, standard pallets. Hmm, we'll try standard and see what that does. We always can adjust standard to pallets if we find it doesn't work for us. Um, so hopefully that'll work. So we'll drive that guy out here. This guy's working on that. Oh, I was like, where does this, we get this guy from? But that's right, we leased this for the contract. So um, yeah, that's what I got going on. I'll get that guy working on getting fertilizing going again and all that good stuff. I think we'll get this guy working on seeding first. It's gonna take the longest time. But uh, yeah, so I just wanna bring you guys back in, kind of get you, uh, showing you what I'm getting done and stuff we got going on here um, as far as this goes. But yeah, we'll probably bring you guys back in with the time lapse here, or you're gonna see a time lapse here in just a second of me doing some plowing. Um, and then, oh, the other thing too, we'll start getting worked on as well. Um, this obviously is good to go. So I'd like to start planting these two. And I think we're just gonna do a big soy harvest. I think I'm gonna throw soy down in each one just to kind of a cash crop for us. They do want to do sheep and cows, but I want to get cows rolling first down here uh, on our cow barn large. So um, that's the plan. Hopefully this episode, um, we get these guys seated, we get some contracts done, make a little bit of money, get our cows started. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back in here in just a bit. Turn to me and say, come on, let's get 
All right, welcome back everyone. So first off, hopefully my audio sounds a little bit better as far as my voice goes because I ordered a temporary wall to set behind me and it's all set up now and it seems to be working pretty well. I'm gonna put some uh, acoustic foam on it to help a little bit as well, but uh, yeah, so hopefully I sound a little bit better. It sounds better to me at least just talking and not having it echo as much and everything like that, but anyhow, okay. So the time has come. We'll take this down to the farm. Let's get some cows set up. Let's do it. Woo. Yeah, there's the, ex <laughs> the excitement. Um, so I filled this up again with 250,000 liters of straw. And then uh, I also grabbed an extra 200 or an extra 50,000 liters and left it in the loading wagon, which is parked down by the cows. Uh, so we are gonna have to go through here in a second and mix some TMR. So we'll do that here in just a moment. Let's get this guy situated down here. What I should have done, maybe even off camera, is go and uh, pick up our animals. Because we have an animal trailer parked back into here. I think we got this on sale. Which, actually, is there anything on sale we need to be buying? Oh my gosh, that's actually a really good deal for that. It's super expensive, but that's such a good deal for that. I really want to buy it. <laughs> I can't justify that. Oh gosh, I mean cotton you make a lot of money to be fair, but I don't think we're in a position to do that uh, Where is the animal dealer at on this? Map? Oh, it's right at the it's at the Regular dealer, right? Why am I on the there we go? Oh, maybe not Animal dealer oh, no, It's gonna be somewhere stupid, isn't it? Oh, it's way down there. Well, I guess that's a, at least a direct shot. So we'll have this guy probably drive down there on his own. Let's get him turned around so he's actually going the right direction here. I got both of our fields planted and fertilized twice as well. So that's all done. And again, I finished out. We also don't have a, a, any loan right now because I did so many contracts. Um, that was the only one that's left. I didn't take that one on. But yeah, so I'll, I'll probably keep doing a contract here and there um, as they come up just to make us a little bit extra cash. But I want to get um, a ton of cows in here if at all possible. I want to just do a boatload of cows. So... That is the plan, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get this guy down where I know he's not going to have any issues getting where he needs to go. Right about here should be fine. Um, let's go to here. Great job. Go to. Um, there we go. That'll work. Beautiful. Okay, now let's go back up over here. I gotta be careful. I hate that when you're in this mode, space cancels the job, because I'll try to click on something else and hit space to enter it. But obviously that's not what we want. Um, okay, so. Can I zoom in? Come on. I hate my mouse so much. This is like, come on. You can do it. There we go. That should be good enough. <laughs> enough um i don't know what the capacity of that is actually um garage animals its capacity is twenty four thousand liters so um one of those by two of those we can at least put one full straw bale in so um let's let's do that we have more silage than we have hay so let's go ahead and grab let's grab a straw and a silage bale here real quick i can probably do that pretty easily Beautiful. So we'll get these guys thrown in there. I really like our setup that we got going on, to be honest with you guys. I'm pretty excited about getting cows going on here as well. I know we're doing cows on Elm Creek as well, but we'll do them on a much bigger... What do you mean it's not... Oh, they're not silage yet! Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! How fermented are they? Uh, let's just walk over here. Oh my heavens, they're so close. Let's just fast forward time here. We'll just go. We'll probably have to go into tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see how late we get today before. Yeah, it's gonna be a little dark, so let's just go in tomorrow. A little bit more, maybe. Okay, they should be good to go now. Okay. Now we can try this.
There we go. They're both going in now. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So how's that mix looking? Oh, Jesus. Slow down. We're walking a little bit. How's that mix looking? Um, okay. 58, 41. Obviously, we need hay and stuff, too. So I would say since we have more... S nope. Get out of there. Since we have more silage, let's grab a silage and a hay bale. And actually, quite honestly, with our setup, it's easier to make silage. So I'll probably want actually two... Yeah, one. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll grab it. Well, if I can actually grab it. Let's see here. Back up. Let's grab it. Hey, Bill. Beautiful. It'd be easier if this was a little bit closer to the loading wagon here, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Nope. Come on now. Yeah, we're probably not going to need straw for a very long time. If ever again on this series, quite honestly. Um, which is fine. Okay, now how's that mix looking? Only slightly strong on the straw, and we have a lot of space left. So let's do... We are going to need our hay bale, though. So let's do our hay and our silage bale. So three silage, two hay, and a straw. That's not a bad mix. Not grab that maybe the best way, but that's okay. Oop, go down. Come on, get that other bale. I gotta get a better angle, I think, here. There we go. So let me write that down for Calmsden. Almost in. Three silage, two hay, and one straw. And as long as well, as long as this works here. But I'm 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 sure this will be fine um, to get us the what we need. Oh, is actually that guy down by the cows right now? Let's get him loaded up so we can start driving back while we're doing this. Turn the help menu off for now. It should be right there, so we'll back in there. Now, cow-wise, uh, since we're doing dairy right now on Elm Creek, I think I want to kind of do... Let's see, this is used for dairy. Um, cow's bread for profit. Bread for profit. Yes, I think we'll do... Maybe some... Yeah, maybe some Angus and some limousine. Let's select that. We do up to seven. Is it seven? Is that all we can put in there? Yeah. $2,100. Let's do that. Okay. Yep, seven cows at a time. That's okay. We'll get uh, maybe 14 of each to start. Well, we can get a lot more than that. It's just honestly going to be a lot of going back and forth and transporting. I, mean, I should just invest in a bigger trailer. Uh, we'll be fine for now, though. Once they get there, um, it'll be a lot easier to deal with them. Um, create job. Go to right there. Start job. All right. Go to this screen. Let's finish our TMR mix here while that guy drives up here. Well, at least it's TMR now. I don't know if it'll take all of both of these. Nope. There we go. 500 of hay is left over, so we'll slowly have a hay... I don't know, have a little bit of hay left over here and there, but we'll use that hay bale first next time. We can also switch back and forth between being heavy on each of those. Park this guy just out of the way here for a second. All right, and then this guy should be good to go. I have had people leave comments and ask me about this, so I'll uh, address this as well. Um, yes, I upload in 1080p. I'm still using my old computer, which is, I mean, it's fine. It's a cyber powered PC, it does fine. It's got a 1660 in it. It's great, but it would struggle probably to, and I don't have monitors that would capture in 4K, uh, but it would struggle to do 4K probably. When I get my new PC set up, which will likely be when I get in my new house, which I purchased, which will be in uh, like a month, month and a half when I start doing this, um, 
I want to start uploading in 4K, but as of right now, it's just not something that I'm able to do yet. I'll get there, but just not yet. This is not... Oh, I can go right in there. So I just probably just need to back in there. And we also need to grab that big old straw container good over here, but I probably can't move it around with this guy. I'm assuming the straw is also going to come into here. How come I don't have a trigger? Oh, I gotta get closer to the food, I bet. And I bet you I gotta have the up tip side, the other side. I just switched it over, so there it is. And we'll just park this guy here. For now. Um, how's our... Oh, he's he's quick. It's actually not that long of a drive, to be fair. Um, I just probably just need to sit down, just chill out, and make a few trips and get some cows up in here. Select, move to the pasture, and we can do 150, so yeah, I probably want to get maybe 28 of each since they're not that expensive. Uh, we just need to, it's just going to take some time to transport them up here. I mean, let's just see, how long does it take it to get there? Well, we won't do that just yet. Let's hold off for a second. I'll do all that probably off camera because you guys don't need to just watch me drive back and forth delivering livestock. Um, that's nothing terribly exciting. Let's get some food in there. Make sure these guys are happy for now. How much food are you guys going to take? I don't know if it visually fills up. Maybe not. Hopefully not, because otherwise we haven't accomplished anything. Holy smokes. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Let's check on the cows here. Oh, wow, their thing holds, like, way more than the other ones, which is actually kind of... That's actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. So that's going to hold way more than they would normally hold. Um, let's see how much straw they're going to hold, actually, as well. We'll, I mean, it's not going to go well, but we'll try pulling it with this guy. Um, I think the straw is going to go in here as well. So... This gate might very well be in the way, so let's get that closed. Let's see if this guy's able to pull. We'll get some straw in there, and then we'll probably get ready to wrap up the episode. I think that'll be pretty good for what we had going on there. And the milk is out here. Yeah, this little beast has got it. It looks so disproportionately... It just looks so wrong. Oh, we're gonna, that's not going to work if we hit stuff. We definitely don't have the strength to plow through stuff. Nor can you do that anyways, but... Woo, look at that backing up in there. Since it takes so much of everything, it'll probably take... Oh, it's going to take this whole trailer full of straw, which is actually really good for us. We don't have to deal with it probably for a long time, which would be great. Oh, yeah, that takes a gap. That's... Oh, how perfect is that? Well, now we can go park this out of the way and not have to worry about using this thing for a while. I actually think we'll park it over here in these sheds because this thing we're only going to need... We'll still use it to move straw around when needed, but right now we just don't need it. So we'll get it parked up over here. And uh, then hopefully we'll just start, you know, chugging away, getting some soybeans done in the background. Now, the one thing I thought about doing, we have a lot of wheat and barley that we haven't sold yet. And I mean, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think about this. But I thought about maybe getting a little piece of land and maybe getting a flour mill going and the bakery going. That would be kind of sweet if we did that, I think. Yeah, we'll just park this guy. Yeah, just back this straight in there. Boom, just like that. And I can grab our... I actually don't know why I left it in there, because it's empty anyways. But that's okay. Get this guy out of here. Oop, got all miscombobulated there. I wish this opened in that way, to be honest with you. That I feel like for me would be a little bit better. Especially for the setup I'm running, but... Okay, this guy can make pretty tight corners, just like that. Try not to hit our cows. Let's park you up over. Right there should be fine. We honestly could also load him from the outside too. He doesn't have to come into here. But um, there we go. Well, we got our cows rolling. The cows are underway. Yay, cows. Okay, well, anyhow, we can see all seven probably right now. Four, five, six. We lost one. Darn it. It's okay. Pretty somewhere, but um, yeah, so... 
yeah we'll do that that's what we got going on we'll keep getting some more stuff rolling but uh Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.